Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards and hope everyone's doing well. We're currently uh, snowed in, <laughs> um, so I hope we don't have any brownouts during this. Anyway, um, a little while back in December, I sent out a few emails uh, to some of the manufacturers and some of the bigger stores online and I, I got an overwhelmingly positive response so that's kind of why I've been stuck in review mode for a little bit I'm almost near the end um, I mean I still be doing reviews but I need to get back to modding and I know I've said this a couple times and I do apologize uh, they are coming I just want to get these current reviews out of the way and then just get on a on a more even schedule because I just kind of Christmas rained keyboards for me from me from many manufacturers. So today we're taking a look at one of these. It's from a company called MechKeys, MechKeys.com. Um, I had uh, I only ordered from them once, I believe, some switches. I want to say it was a while back. But anyway, I reached out to them, and Helen uh, from MechKeys, she uh, gave me a few choices. And this keyboard in particular, I'd, I've never I've seen the brand before, but I'd never taken a look at any one of their keyboards. So I was like. This one actually seems interesting because, well, one thing in particular. So today we're taking a look at the Hello Gons. I hope that I'm saying it right. I'm probably not. This is the HS98T Pro uh, from the 98. You can probably guess what kind of size we're dealing with. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Now, this is one thing that I found really cool. It comes with almost an entirely completely different keycap set. I mean, it actually, besides, um, yeah, I don't see a space bar in here, but it has ISO enters. I mean, it, it looks like an entirely different set, or at least complementary set, of keycaps. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and set this aside. What else do we have in the box? It's a 94 to 98 key. 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth RGB keyboard. All right, so we got our instruction manual. Now we do have, well, at least it's got a uh, um, a spot where you can put a little tail in there, but this is a USB-A to USB-C adapter. We have your keycap puller. Oh, wow, look at that. That's why it's saying the variable keys. It actually comes with a set of keyboard blockers or uh, switch lockers. Oh blockers I forget the exact name oh and that's interesting um, the design that we're used to but that hole in the middle that that gives you a spot I mean I know there's other ones but this one actually huh that's interesting I mean I know there's not much innovation they can do with these but I got I gotta say I, I kind of like this I mean especially having the, the finger holes so that you can get some leverage when pulling out some of those uh, harder to get switches but we do have some blockers, and uh, well, if I had to guess, I would say they're just ABS plastic. But we have a whole column blocker, or I guess that would be a column, or individuals, and there's four of those. So that's an, also an interesting little addition. Of course, we got our USB-C to USB-A cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here so I don't lose them. These are always handy. <clears throat> and though one can 3D print them, if if, a, if you have a 3D printer, uh, they don't always come out to great size and they can actually get stuck in there and broke, break it off. This is actually injection molding. So, And it has a, a little dust cover and it's not the cheapest, it's not the densest, but it's not the really thin stuff. So it could be used as a regular dust cover. And I do appreciate when they include that as well. So here we have the Hello Gans. HS98T Pro. So, as you can see, it's a, well, it is breakout, so technically, I guess it's an 1800. But, I mean, we obviously are missing two keys here, but in lieu of that, we've got a knob. Now, it is a tiny little knob, and I wonder if it's, it doesn't at the moment feel like it's very, um, uh, it, it, I mean, it very likely could come off, but I don't want to don't want to break it before I review it. Um, now, when I said that this keyboard is interesting, it's because it does not have a battery. 
yes, you can plug it in. There's the port. Oh, that's a familiar bottom. But as you can see right here, what do we have? You have double A battery compartments. Yes. So I don't use wireless that often, but I have wireless boards and I store them differently. And I mean, those batteries sitting in there after a while, uh, they're gonna start expanding. It's just, that's just the way these batteries work. Having the ability to easily change out the batteries or just take them out, because you know you're not gonna use it um, wireless for a while, in my opinion, is a better choice than putting in permanent batteries into a keyboard. This is a cool thing. I just, uh, and oh, look at that. I just so happen to have some AA batteries here. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these up. Uh, it does have a warning here. I probably should read it. Note, the label in the battery compartment, reverse battery installation, may damage the device. Okay, well, I, I think I can follow that. There are batteries in there. Um, yeah, something else. Uh, you can see that we've got two sets of feet, but we've also got our 2.4 gigahertz dongle. I actually like that. Why? Because... That's really gonna, that's gonna add a second level of protection. I mean, even though, I don't know if it's a magnet or, or just pressure fit in there. It feels like a magnet, but that's gonna add an extra bit of protection that you're not gonna lose. Those 2.4, that 2.4 gigahertz, that dongle. So, okay, so here we are. Now, let me see, there is the on and off switch. We got Bluetooth, G, or wired. So let's say we wanna turn it on to Bluetooth. Well, what do we got? All right, I saw some lights coming out there, but I don't see any keyboard lights. Hmm. Now if we put it to G, same thing. Whoa. I was not expecting that. Now this is loaded up with Kale Cream Pros. Um, now, of course, we all know the Kale Cream. Which one's the Kale Cream Pro? Okay, that looks like the NK version. So, yeah, they sound and feel very similar. I have whew, several hundred of these, actually. Uh, I went a little nuts when a certain company was doing mystery switches, and I was buying some every week, basically. So, it looks like in here, yep. Yeah, we have either PE or um, IPXE. So, let's see. Feels like IPXE. Then it also looks like we have nice dense foam between the plate and the PCB. And the plate is steel. One of your standard steel plates, but and we've got looks like some open cell foam down below. But I gotta I gotta admit when I first hit that space bar, I was kind of taken aback. I was not expecting it to sound. Wow. Well, hmm. So alright, so it is north facing, but I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a purist. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind either way. Let me go ahead and plug this in and see if I can get some RGB going on. Because maybe in battery mode, now I could understand here, since it's using uh, AA batteries, that it, the RGBs may just not work while in uh, wireless mode. All right, yeah, because now we got some light. So that was probably... Uh, the situation right there. So, all right, so we're looking at this. We have, it kind of reminds me of Metropolis, though it's darker. It's like we got, well, we've got a blue space bar and a couple of blue accent keys like the arrows and the enter, and they have a red legend, but then we have others that are basically black with a cyan light blue legend, and then the uh, alphas. And the numbers and every other 
that is black with yellow legends. Um, I meant to look at that when I had it up and I forgot. Yeah, these are double shot keycaps. I kind of figured they were seeing those, um, but so these are double shot keycaps. And oh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a cherry profile. It, it looks like a cherry profile to me because I don't think OEMs get that low. Yeah, that's pretty sure this is cherry. I was going to say it's not a center one, but does this actually have the ability for a stepped caps lock? I doubt it. I think they just put, yeah. Yeah, I didn't figure it did. Um, that one's centered, as you can see. Now, I do have a mod video how you can convert these stepped ones to fit standard basically just moving that stem over and re-gluing it with some super glue and baking soda but i just wish this they were more i wish that and uh indicator windows um and if people don't know what indicator window is a lot of older keycaps uh and the, older in the 80s and 90s would have a little plastic clear window uh, down at the bottom and when you like you hit caps that light would turn on so that was a that was a pretty cool thing. Now for south facing, I can imagine a whole key set like that, you know, where you're not shining through the actual legend, you're just shining through a little window in the front and the top, or the side and the top. And, you know, while you still have a double shot legend or what have you. So anyway, this one, uh, it comes with an entirely uh, different, except for the space bar, basically, wow. Yeah, I know this is a pretty, It's not another set, but it's it's basically the options that you would have with one of these, you know, say like the 140 plus keycap sets that you might pick up off AliExpress, where they have a lot of different options where, I mean, you could take this entire keycap set off of here with those, and you're basically going to fit on any other keyboard. So they, they picked a, a decent keycap set to match with this, the double shot. Let me see how thick they are. <clears throat> they do feel like a PBT. Um, all right, so we got a 1.4, 1.5 millimeter body on these, so that's a, that's a good thickness, and that's why I do believe it does lend itself to to such a nice stock sound. Now, do have to. I mean, it's just. Well, we'll get to to it and much better in the sound test. But I gotta say, I'm off the bat. I'm I'm impressed. I the way that it sounds, what it includes, could have included a couple extra switches. I personally don't care because obviously I have some. Oh, yeah, this does work for the volume. Pressing it mutes it. So we've got that. Um, so, you know, it, it honestly surprised me because, don't get me wrong, while I first had heard, okay, it takes AA batteries, uh, when Helen, you know, said it was shipping out, and I just, just grazed over the listing. I like to go into it, n you know, knowing very little, but, I mean, obviously that stood out to me, and I was like, oh, that's cool, but I wonder how the rest of the keyboard is. I mean, did they implement it in a good way? You know, or did they just focus on that? And obviously not. They've done a few good things here. And it definitely shows just from the initial, just feeling it, the weight of it. It's 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 not like super heavy, but it's it's weighted well enough and it's balanced. And it has what I, I mean, for me anyway, the pads on these are a little bit bigger than on other keyboards this size. I, I like the way of how they, um, did the uh, pocket for the 2.4 gigahertz dongle because I believe that's going to limit the possibilities of losing it just that much more. Um, the layout I like. I mean, you're doing a, you're dealing with an 1800, so you're not going to have the full size zero. But for me, this is great. Uh, looking to see if it's going to give me um, the ability to reprogram these. I'm hoping so. But so far, I like what I see. Let's get technical. Today we are taking a look at the Hello Gans 
HS98T Pro. Uh, this keyboard manufacturer retail price for between $99 and $119, depending on the colorway and the switches you choose. The keycap sets that come with this are a complete keycap set. Uh, they're double shot PBTs and include all the keys even for swapping out uh, different modifier colors. This keyboard is a three mode, 98% or 96% or an 1800 and is powered by four AA batteries which can be easily removed and replaced on the back. It does include a knob and it weighs 1,097 grams with batteries and 1,005 grams without. The chin of the keyboard sits 19 millimeters above the surface, while the back sits at 33 and a half, providing you with a nine degree typing angle. When using the first pair of feet, you will raise the back height to 38 millimeters, providing a typing angle of 11 degrees. Using the final set of feet, you will raise the back up to 46 millimeters with a 15 degree typing angle. Oh, you caught me playing with it. Honestly, I'm I'm very impressed with this keyboard. I I'd seen the name before and I'd seen some of the models and I don't know, I just nothing jumped out to me because I just expected them to sound because they have a steel plate. I honestly expected them to sound like uh, one of the ones I recently reviewed, the Boy. Although I, I mean, I knew they had better switches, but I just was not aware how well built these things are. I am really, honestly, honest to goodness, surprised at how well I like it. Um, now I'm going to take a look at these stabilizers real quick because they are quite smooth. So they are plate mounted, but they are on there. These are. I mean, it's not, I'm actually moving the housing, but it's not moving from the plate. It does have a good amount of lubricant on the wire and they slide nice and free. Now, so even, even the stabilizers on the numpad, I mean, that's, yes, it's not perfect, but it's damn good for stock and it, it's, uh, this ranks high on my list of out of the box, ready to go keyboards. Like I said, I, personally, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out. I, what am I currently running? I think I'm because I, I do rotations. I think I'm on uh, the Keychron V5 right now, the 1800. So this will fall right into place. Now, yes, I would have probably moved this over and added the other key, but. From taking a look at the listing, they do have customizable software. It looks like uh, the one that's similar to a lot of the other ones out there, uh, but it does appear to have per key RGB um, and the ability to remap all but the ones, the uh, the function keys that are part that are already built in. You know, for changing the lights, uh, Mac mode, um, different keys. There's already some, uh, and I mean, of course, you know. It, we don't have the navigation column, but we have the num lock. So you can always use this as a directional, but we've got them right here. Uh, you can use it as a numpad or you can use the navigation. So, um, like I said, the fact that this includes, I mean, well, the options for switches are pretty good right off the bat, in my opinion. Now, as I said, in the technical section, this does come in a variety of, uh, of colorways. They have Obsidian, uh, which uses what looks like a dark hammerhead keycap set. And it's funny because in that one, they have these blocked out and the arrow keys blocked out. So, I mean, you can definitely play around with the blockers that they include and do some interesting stuff. I mean, you know, to get some different types of looks. Uh, now that Obsidian is at $99 and they start going up from there. Uh, there's a purple one that has uh, it looks more like a magic girl, I think. Uh, there's a pink one that looks a lot like salmon, but a little more pastel-y. Uh, there's a blue-yellow that looks like Rudy, um, although the legends on the alphas are gold. There's a feather. Actually, that looks like bento. Or I could, the pink and the feather probably... One looks like bento salmon. Mm, one of those two. Um, they're not exact copies, but I mean, they're 
they're kind of using similar colorways. Uh, they have the white, which is completely, it's a complete be, uh, black on white set. Uh, these are all cherry, by the way, and they're really nice. Um, and they do have different, like uh, the white one actually has the uh, little purse cap lock indicator. While this one uh, has a legend, in the, just a legend. So they have a black completely that's just basically a white on black. Same thing, it matches the, uh, the, the black on white. So, and they have this one, this one's the deep blue. Now the, the choice switches they have is the Kale Cream Pro. I'm not sure what the difference between the Kale Cream that I have plenty of the box style and the Cream Pro. So I'll have to look that up because I, I, they, they sound and feel quite similar to me, although I like them in this combination, I gotta say. They have a Yepo Silver Linear. So by silver, I'm gonna assume it's probably light and fast. They have a Pinyu, Pinyui, P-I-N-U-Y-U-E blue tactile i haven't heard of that one and they also have the ttc uh, speed silver so those do seem to affect like if i'm looking at oh wow the pinu blue tactile seems to be okay because actually they start at 89.99 if i choose the pinu i don't know how i'm pronouncing that I, i'm not pronouncing that right i know so if you choose that it takes the board still with these keycap sets and everything to 89.99 so uh Wow, I mean, for an out-of-the-box keyboard, getting this at $89.99 with keycap sets, I mean, the switches, I don't know about, but, I mean, it is hot swap, so you can always just change them out. Uh, but if you're willing to spend, you know, a few more bucks, the Kale Creams or, oh, the Yepo Silver Linears also bring it down to $89.99. So the Speed Silver is the only one that takes it up a dollar to 120 dollars and 99 cents so you've got a few configurations that you can get it's hot swappable so you're not committing uh to these uh, decisions uh but you can get a keyboard that out of the box you pull it out and just go to town now yes it can be tuned and i guarantee you it can sound better and i will be coming back to it like i said it's going to be put in my schedule, so it'll it'll be a little backlogged for a minute. But I am I am going to go ahead and start using this after this review because I want to do a long term, and I just I like it. I like how it looks. I'm not usually a fan of pre builds but in the last uh, month I've been surprised a few times. Uh, first by the Halos, and now uh, the Hello Gan. So. While, because I didn't, if I don't know a brand, not that I dismiss it, but I just kind of tend to ignore it, especially if it's not like readily available, but Metkeys shipped this out to me. I think it took, I wanna say about 10, 12 days. So it did not take uh, that long. So Metkeys, you know, like I said, has this starting at 89.99 and going up from there, depending on the switches you pick. So now, obviously this was with the KO Pro, which, I actually am a bit of a fan of, but I took I took all of my creams. Like I said, I have quite a few, a few hundred, probably three or four hundred, roughly, and I ran them all through my break-in, uh, my switch break-in machine, and ran them all through roughly five hundred thousand times each. So um, they are super smooth; they're like glass. Uh, but there's really there's there's a tiny bit of scratchiness. But one thing that I have found is that if your switch is just slightly scratchy, use it for a little bit. I mean, if you don't have a break-in machine, if you have a break-in machine, that's just the, the quick way to get to what otherwise you'd get to after using you know, the keyboard for, for a little while. Problem with that, you just, I mean, not a problem, but you're just gonna get inconsistency. Some keys may take a little bit longer than others because obviously if you had a heat map on your keyboard, you would see that there are certain keys that obviously get hit a lot more often than other keys and some probably that are lonely and never see any action, but everybody's heat map is different. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I've gotta say, I mean, the stabilizers, the uh, the very nice keycap set with uh with all the keys so if i switch them out and i want to use this keycap set on another keyboard i'm not stuck you know with the shorty shift there is a longer shift on there um i think there was the uh, one one and a quarter modifier so basically i it's not you know on a lot of pre-built 
well, I know I'll speak personally for myself. A lot of pre-builds I buy and just immediately take the keycaps and or the switches, throw them in a Ziploc bag and put them back in the box because I know I'm going to load up something else. But this is one that, hey, I'm going to, if I switch out any keycaps, it'll be just some of the colors, but I kind of like the way it comes. But the fact that it comes with the rest of the keys, that's a big plus. The fact that it comes with decent switches. Uh, like I said, I can't speak to the other ones. I mean, the TT, uh, TTC silvers are nice, but any silver switch or, I mean, I can't speak to the tactile, but I've got to believe that if you, um, if you lube them up, they're probably decent. Um, well, don't dip the spring and break them in, but even if they're not, you can still get, I mean, whether it's a set of Akos or a set of Gazoos, um, you can spend the time to replace them and i think you're going to be happy because the base is a good base we got dampening below dampening between we've got stabilizers that are very well set into the plate and i mean there is just the tiniest amount of ping but i mean it's hard to hear with it up to my ear like i have to struggle to hear it i doubt you'll hear any in the sound test at all and even right here, I don't hear it. It's only putting my ear up and it's just a tiny little bit. And I've got to say, it's very likely due to the um, the steel plate. As I know, uh, most kale box switches have a little bit of lubricant in there. And every time you actuate it, it's supposed to, well, anyway, it's supposed to lubricate. I don't know, because I really have never seen any like reservoir in there, so. But anyway. So this keyboard is, in my opinion, just a, it's, it's nice out of the box. Um, and I, I'm, I was less surprised. I was, I guess I'm a little more impressed because I, 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 I didn't have high expectations. Not that I thought it would be bad. I just didn't think it was gonna be as good as this is and include what it does. The only thing I would say is probably add a couple extra switches. But again, I have plenty and being that you have the blockers one could say that hey you could block a few keys that you don't use off and use those switches in case you have a problem but that's nah, just a thought anyway i'm this is the hello gans h s i'm gonna say that stands for hot swap 98 t maybe t stands for three mode pro pro because they put they put the effort into this um, and despite it having a steel plate, it sounds uh, pretty good out of the box. I mean, I haven't touched the stabilizers. I took out a couple switches just to show you guys the keycaps, but I haven't done anything to it. So, um, I, but just from playing around, I think that you guys are going to agree with me for the most part that this sounds like one of the better stock keyboards that's available uh being a pre-built an 1800 a three mode which we don't see all that often um kind of gives this even more the fact that it has double uh, a batteries i know some people are going to be like no but me preferably since i don't use wireless that often but when i do i i don't care i know i have a we have a battery station uh got kids so batteries are just you know <laughs> a tester right there everything so i know where i can go find batteries i'm never at a problem or a loss for any batteries but if i know i'm not going to be using the keyboard you know in a wireless capacity i just take out the batteries and store them, put them you know for somebody else to use and i don't have to worry about a spicy pillow uh, so yeah anyway it's a uh, it, it's a good pre-built it's one of the better pre-built and i i hope to see this more often i i've gotten too accustomed to a lot of pre-built just you know not just being a little underwhelming so the fact that this one is really nice uh like i said when i was speaking to met keys uh they kind of gave me a selection of a few i prefer honestly because i'm not shopping you know, I'm not paying for it. They're sending me one to review. So, especially if it's the first time, I like them to pick. And so they were like, all right, how about this one? I'm like, sounds good. And they picked good because they do have a pretty crazy catalog of keyboards. And they have some keyboards. Um, I guess they have the right to resell some of the keyboard models that aren't 
necessarily easily available on AliExpress. They're more just, you know, on Tabao if you're willing to use a, a buyer, but they're kind of the buyer for you. And for the most part, the prices seem fair. Um, I saw a couple that were priced a little bit more, but most of them are priced about the same as you would find them um, on, like, say, AliExpress if they did have that model. And in my opinion, probably cheaper than if you did buy it from Tabao to go through a buyer or about the same. So, um, so like I said, they sent me out this keyboard for an honest review and I gotta say, um, I like it. And I just actually, I just noticed that's a G. I, I just thought it was a power symbol when I first saw it up here, but it's G. Hello, Gans. Um, I wish what I knew what that meant, but it, they could have just, were they trying to do hello games? Just changed a couple letters, but that's a gaming company too, I think. Um, anyway, going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of this nice pre-built 1800 uh, from Hello Gans. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.